in this lecture we will discuss about the pn junction diode and the energy band diagram formation in uh, pn junction diode so actually uh, a p type semiconductor and n type semiconductor when they come closer they, uh, a depletion region will be formed at the junction so how this depletion region is formed so by the process of diffusion uh, the holes from p side that is the majority carriers in p side is holes so this holes from p side will diffuse to n region so holes will diffuse from p region to n region and similarly electrons will diffuse from n region to p region when they come closer that is when a pn junction is formed so when a pn junction is formed this holes from p region move towards n region and the electrons from n region move towards p region so this process is known as diffusion so the diffusion of charge carriers occurs due to the large carrier concentration gradient at the junction you know the in p the holes are the majority carriers and in n electrons are the majority carriers so due to this a large uh, concentration gradient this uh, holes will diffuse from p region to n region and electrons will diffuse from n region to p region so due to this diffusion process from uh, p to n and n to p so electrons are diffusing from n to p which means during this diffusion process an uncompensated immobile positive ions will be formed at the junction on the n side and due to the diffusion of holes from p region to n region an uncompensated minus ion that is acceptor ions will be formed on the p side so due to this uncompensated minus and plus ions that is minus means acceptor ions and plus means donor ions the further diffusion will be stopped at the junction so due to this potential difference so this potential is known as barrier potential so due to this potential at the junction due to the donor ions and the acceptor ions which are immobile ions due to this formation of this uh, potential difference further diffusion is stopped at the junction so this region is known as depletion region or space charge region and uh, the width of that region is measured as w and due to this potential difference at the dip across the depletion region or due to this barrier potential some electric field will be generated at the junction and the direction of electric field from plus to minus so this is the direction of electric field and actually uh, before uh, forming the pn junction this p semiconductor and n semiconductor are electrically uh, neutral and when uh, depletion after formation of depletion region or uh, the junction is formed we can see electric field will be generated across the junction and the electric field value will be maximum at the center of the depletion region that we will prove later and this region will be still electrically i not uh, is uh, neutral and also this region so the potential difference will exist only across the depletion region that is the electrons diffusing from n to p leaves behind uncompensated donor ions nd plus ions on the n side and the holes leaving the p region towards the n region leaves behind acceptor ions that is minus ions on the p side so this result in an electric field and the direction of electric field is from positive to negative and if we look at the diffusion current we know that holes are diffusing from p region to n region so the whole diffusion current will be that is the current due to the diffusion of holes will be from p to n that is the direction will be same as the direction of flow of holes so this is the diffusion current direction for holes and the electron are diffusing from n to p 
that is electrons are diffusing in this direction the current flow will be the diffusion current flow will be in the opposite direction so uh, this is the direction for this is the direction for diffusion current for electron so electrons are diffusing in the opposite direction current will be in the opposite direction so uh, this is the direction of hole diffusion and electron diffusion so we, if we look at the current direction for hole and electron diffusion we can see the direction is from left to right so it is opposite to the direction of electric field the electric field direction is uh, that is from right to left and the direction of diffusion current due to electrons and holes is from left to right so the electric field is in opposite direction to that of the diffusion current for each type of carrier each type of carrier means the hole diffusion and electron diffusion the current due to hole diffusion and electron diffusion is opposite to that of the direction of electric field that point is very important so due to this effect that is the electric field direction is in the opposite to that of diffusion current we can see that a drift component of current will be from occur from n to p opposing the diffusion current so always the drift and diffusion current will be in opposite direction so we can see uh, due to the presence of electric field some drift current will flow from uh, n to p and we can say that at equilibrium due to electrons j n drift plus j n diffusion will be equal to zero that is the drift current due to electrons plus drift uh, diffusion current due to electrons will be zero similarly we can say j p drift plus j p diffusion is equal to zero these conditions uh, we are considering under the equilibrium condition so under equilibrium condition the drift and diffusion will be in opposite directions the direction of drift current and diffusion current will be in opposite direction this is uh, explained in figure c the direction is marked in the figure c so uh, since the electric field direction is opposite to that of the diffusion current for each type of carrier uh, an electric field will create uh due to this electric field uh, that is uh, the direction is marked in the diagram that is from positive to negative and due to this field a drift component of current will be generated from n to p so a drift current will be generated from n to p that is opposite to that of the diffusion current so we can consider Uh, the equation j n drift plus j n diffusion is equal to zero and j p drift plus j p diffusion is equal to zero at equilibrium condition. So from uh, in this module we are going to study about the basic concept about the p n junction and we have to understand the the energy band diagram of p n junction and we have to derive the expression for the width w. and the electric field at the junction and uh, the contact potential at the junction so due to this electrostatic potential across the junction uh, we can measure a contact potential v0 uh, that is here the vn minus vp vn is the electrostatic potential on n side and vp is the electrostatic potential on p side the difference between vn and vp that is represented by uh, v0 or v0 that is known as contact potential contact potential or built in voltage so we have to derive the expression for contact potential uh, in the coming lectures so this is the concept of uh, pn junction diode and next we will see how to draw the energy band diagram of pn junction so before drawing drawing the pn junction energy band diagram we can consider a p type semiconductor and n type semiconductor to isolated p and n semiconductors we have to draw the 
energy band diagram of P and N separate. So consider it as a silicon semiconductor. So E C. So this is E C and E V and E I will be always in the middle of the band gap intrinsic level and the Fermi level for p-type will be closer to valence band so this is the location of Fermi level EF or below EI that is the location of Fermi level similarly for n-type silicon so silicon so band gap should be same so both P and N are of silicon semiconductor so we have to draw with a similar band gap so N is EC EV and EA is always in the middle and EF will be closer to EC so these are two isolated P and N material I mean we know the band diagram of P and N now we are going to draw the energy band diagram of the combined P and N region or a P N junction so this is P and N or P N junction and we know that a repletion region will be formed at the junction and this is minus plus potential difference will be generated across the W width and now we are going to draw the energy band diagram of this P N junction diode and this is at equilibrium at equilibrium condition equilibrium condition without any external voltage the external voltage is zero without any external voltage uh, we have to draw the energy band diagram so the, the technique is first draw the band diagram of P without any changes so, so EC EV EA is always in the middle and EF is closer to EV then we know that we are drawing the band diagram at equilibrium condition so at equilibrium the Fermi level will be constant so EF will be a constant at equilibrium so or DEF by DX will be zero that is there will not be any slope there will not be any bend for the Fermi level so for drawing the Fermi level of uh, PN junction we have to extend the Fermi level here because Fermi level is not uh, bending so we have to draw a common Fermi level for the PN junction diode and now this is EF so EFP and EFN will be in same position without any changes without any bending since EF is constant so since EF is constant only at equilibrium only at equilibrium the Fermi level will be constant so we have to draw in a straight line so uh, actually this is the P side and this is the N side so we have to draw the this is N side so we have to draw the N side diagram so EF will be EF will be closer to EF will be uh, e closer to EC so we have to draw EC above EF next we have to draw EV much below EF and we have to draw EI that is at the middle of the band gap so actually we are uh, moving the band to the bottom uh, till the EF comes in a single layer or EF is constant we are moving the end band diagram so we are uh, so this is the uh, P side and this is the N side now we have to join the EC and EC bands and we have to join the EV and EV the EV bands so and if we look at the band we can see that the tilt the EC band is tilted at the junction side that is electric field is existing at the depletion region 
so we know that when an electric field is applied to a semiconductor the band will tilt similarly here also the band the ec band is tilting at the junction we can see that the band is the electron energy level the electron energy level is rising electron energy level is rising at the junction since electric field direction is in the minus x direction so this is x direction means electric field is applied in the minus x direction so electron energy level is rising that we have already studied in the case of Einstein relation so same concept we are applying here so the band is tilting at the junction due to this influence of this electric field similarly EI will also tilt EC, EI and EV EV will also tilt this tilt will occur only at the junction side EF will not bend since ef is constant at equilibrium we know that the slope of ef will be zero df by dx is zero so ef is always constant at equilibrium so this is the band diagram of a pn junction diode and we can mark the contact potential we have to mark the contact potential at the junction and this the tilt in the ec that change value is known as the tilt how much the EC value is uh, tilted that value we will measure it as uh, V0 or QV0 means the contact potential measured in electron volt so this value will be equal to Q into Vn minus Vp Vn is the electrostatic potential on N side and Vp is the electrostatic potential on P side. So that potential difference Vn minus Vp is known as V0. Qv0 means the value is expressed in electron volt. So this is the band diagram for a PN junction. So we have to uh, uh, we have to draw uh, the first we have to draw the P and N uh, isolated P and N regions then we have to combine the PN junction at equilibrium condition so under equilibrium condition we know that the Fermi level will be a constant so we are extending the Fermi level on P and N side then uh, we have to draw the N side and we have to uh, combine the EC and EV uh, bands and um, by observing the depletion region or at the junction we can see that uh, the tilt will be occurring at the uh, junction due to the influence of electric field uh, we know that the equation e of x is equal to 1 by q into d e i by dx that is when we are applying an electric field the band will tilt or the electron energy levels will increase in the direction of uh, electric field so using this concept we can draw the energy band diagram of p n junction ok so in this lecture we have studied uh, how a depletion region is formed and uh, what is the concept of electric field at the junction and uh, how it will influence on the band diagram and uh, we studied about how to draw a PN junction band diagram uh, in the coming lectures we will study the expression for contact potential electric field uh, then uh, the uh, energy band diagram for forward bias condition reverse bias condition and the ideal diode current equation that we will discuss in the coming lectures okay thank you